subscribe to my channel click on bell icon to get notification about new video similarity introduction students you must have played with this toy in your childhood if you open this doll you will find another doll again opening you will find another one and so on you will see that all these doll look exactly similar with each other the only difference is the size in geometry we use the term similar to indicate same shape and difference in size if we go to a photographer with the same negative he can give us to photograph of any size here photo is exactly the same but the sizes are different so we can call them similar in early standard we have studied about congruent images which means they have exactly same shape and size we use congruent symbol to represent congruency these two lines of the bottom shows the same size and this inverted s shows the same shape now look at these two pictures these are similar here they are of same shape but not necessarily of same size as same shape is indicated by this inverted s we use this to represent similarity hence these two images are same is shape and different size hence called similar images now we will try to apply this in geometry look at these figures they are different similar figures look at these line segments they are of same shape but sizes are different hence are similar also these square are of different sizes but all are squares only so they are similar figures same with these circles they all are area of same shape that is circular but of different sizes can we say triangles are also similar let us see these two triangles when can i say that these are similar if they have same shapes they doesn't seem like similar in shape hence these two are not similar now look at these triangles one small and other is large but with same shape now put them like this triangle outside is larger than the triangle inside only difference is the size of the sides of triangle if we take one more triangle with same shape but larger sides you can put these triangles one inside the other here outermost triangle looks like a projection of innermost triangle if we call this as one this two and this three then one is similar to two two is similar to three and also one is similar to three that is thus if one is similar to two and two is similar to three then what we can say that one is similar to three place lighted bulb at point o on the ceiling and directly below it a table place x y z parallel to the ground between the lighted bulb and table then a shadow of x y z is cast on the table mark the outline of this shadow as a b c we get the larger a b c triangle of same shape on the screen then we see vertex x is corresponding to a y to b and z to c so in then we can say triangle abc is similar to triangle xyz to find their properties we can measure the angle of these two triangles they are a 60 degrees b 60 degrees c 60 degrees x 60 degrees y 60 degrees z 60 degrees that means corresponding angles of these two triangles are similar hence angle a is equal to angle x angle b is equal to angle y angle c is equal to angle z now we will measure the sides they are 4 cm 4 cm 4 cm and 2 cm 2 cm 2 cm if you observe you get 
2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 in each side. That is, sides of one triangle are proportional to sides of another triangle. That is, AB is equal to 2 multiplied by XY, AC is equal to 2 multiplied by XZ, and BC is equal to 2 multiplied by YZ. Therefore, AB upon XY is equal to 2. AC upon XZ is equal to 2. BC upon YZ is equal to 2. Hence, the ratio of the corresponding sides of two triangles is same, that is, 2. Hence, we can write AB upon XY is equal to AC upon XZ is equal to BC upon YZ. So, in two similar triangles, corresponding angles are the same and the ratio of corresponding sides is also same. All congruent triangles are similar, but converse is not true. Let's learn. Ratio of areas of two triangles. Let's find the ratio of areas of any two triangles. Example, in triangle ABC, AD is the height and BC is the base. In triangle PQR, PS is the height and QR is the base. Area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by BC multiplied by AD upon 1 upon 2 multiplied by QR multiplied by PS. Therefore, area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to BC multiplied by AD upon QR multiplied by PS. Hence, the ratio of the areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of the products of their bases and corresponding heights. Base of a triangle is B1 and height is H1. Base of another triangle is B2 and height is H2. Then the ratio of their areas is equal to B1 multiplied by H1 upon B2 multiplied by H2. Suppose some conditions are imposed on these two triangles. Condition 1. If the heights of both triangles are equal, then area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to BC multiplied by H upon QR multiplied by H, which is equal to BC upon QR. Therefore, area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to B1 upon B2. Property The ratio of the areas of two triangles with equal heights is equal to the ratio of their corresponding bases. Condition 2. If the bases of both triangles are equal, then area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle APB is equal to AB multiplied by H1 upon AB multiplied by H2. Therefore, area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle APB is equal to H1 upon H2. Property. The ratio of the areas of two triangles with equal bases is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights. Activity. Fill in the blanks properly. 1. Area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle APQ is equal to Solution. Area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle APQ is equal to PC multiplied by AR upon PQ multiplied by AR, which is equal to PC upon PQ. If the heights of both triangles are equal, then ratios of areas of those triangles is equal to the ratio of their corresponding bases. 2. Area of triangle LMN upon area of triangle DMN. Solution Area of triangle LMN upon 
area of triangle DMN is equal to MN multiplied by LP upon MN multiplied by DQ, which is equal to LP upon DQ. The ratio of the areas of two triangles with equal bases is equal to the ratio of the corresponding height. 3. M is the midpoint of segment AB and segment CM is a median of triangle ABC. Therefore, area of triangle AMC upon area of triangle BMC is equal to State the reason. Solution Here, let's draw perpendicular from vertex C to base AB, then H is the height of both the triangles. Triangle AMC and triangle BMC. Also, as M is midpoint of AB, AM is equal to BM. Hence, bases of both the triangles are equal, as the ratio of the areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of the products of their bases and corresponding heights. Therefore, area of triangle AMC upon area of triangle BMC is equal to AM multiplied by H upon BM multiplied by H is equal to AM upon BM is equal to 1. As bases are equal. Solve examples. Example 1. In adjoining figure, AE is perpendicular to segment BC. Segment DF is perpendicular to line BC. AE is equal to 4. DF is equal to 6. Then find area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle DBC. Solution. Area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle DBC is equal to AE upon DF. Bases are equal, hence areas proportional to heights, which is equal to 4 upon 6 is equal to 2 upon 3. Example 2. In triangle ABC, point D on side BC is such that DC is equal to 6, BC is equal to 15. Find area of triangle ABD is to area of triangle ABC and area of triangle ABD is to area of triangle ADC. Solution. Point A is common vertex of triangle ABD, triangle ADC and triangle ABC and their bases are collinear. Hence, heights of these three triangles are equal. BC is equal to 15. DC is equal to 6. Therefore, BD is equal to BC minus DC is equal to 15 minus 6 is equal to 9. Area of triangle ABD upon area of triangle ABC is equal to BD upon BC. Heights equal, hence areas proportional to bases, which is equal to 9 upon 15 is equal to 3 upon 5. Area of triangle ABD upon area of triangle ADC is equal to BD upon DC. Heights equal, hence areas proportional to bases, which is equal to 9 upon 6 is equal to 3 upon 2. Example 3. Quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. P is any point on side BC. Find two pairs of triangles with equal areas. Solution. Quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Therefore, AD is parallel to BC and AB is parallel to DC. Consider triangle ABC and triangle BDC. Both the triangles are drawn in two parallel lines. Hence, the distance between the two parallel lines is the height of both triangles. In triangle ABC and triangle BDC, common base is BC and heights are equal. Hence, area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle BDC. 
in triangle ABC and triangle ABD, AB is common base and heights are equal. Therefore, area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle ABD. Example 4. In adjoining figure, in triangle ABC, point D is on side AC. If AC is equal to 16, BC is equal to 9, and BP is perpendicular to AC, then find the following ratios. 1. Area of triangle ABD upon area of triangle ABC. 2. Area of triangle BDC upon area of triangle ABC. 3. Area of triangle ABD upon area of triangle BDC. Solution. In triangle ABC, point P and D are on side AC. Hence, B is common vertex of triangle ABD, triangle BDC, triangle ABC and triangle APB. And their sides AD, DC, AC and AP are collinear. Heights of all the triangles are equal. Hence, areas of these triangles are proportional to their bases. AC is equal to 16, DC is equal to 9. Therefore, AD is equal to 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. Area of triangle ABD upon area of triangle ABC is equal to AD upon AC is equal to 7 upon 16. Triangles having equal heights. Area of triangle BDC upon area of triangle ABC is equal to DC upon AC is equal to 9 upon 16. Triangles having equal heights. Area of triangle ABD upon Area of triangle BDC is equal to AD upon DC, which is equal to 7 upon 9. Triangles having equal heights.